tutorial three of computer architecture. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how the instructions are represented in the computer. So as we know, A equals B plus C is represented at the end uh, as a sequence of binary uh, digits. Uh, in the middle, we have for the MIPS architecture, we have uh, this translated as, for instance, uh, add T0, T1, and T2, where these are the uh, temporary registers in MIPS. So, how do this map to that? So, here we have the R format instruction. The R format instructions are uh, represented as follows. They have opcode source register, second source register, destination register, shift amount, and function. So specifically, opcode is the operation code. RS is the first source register. RT is the second source register. Whereas RD is our destination register. Here we have to make sure that uh, RD is uh, the, the, the format is uh, somehow uh, swapped. So we have here opcode RS, RT, RD. Here we, if we write the instruction in MIPS, we have the, op, the, the add instruction with uh, RD, RS, RT. So take care when you map this to that, that the RD is at the end. Uh, the fifth field is the shunt or the shift amount. This we will deal with at uh, shift uh, instructions provided at a further example. Function is the uh, specific uh, variant of operation in the opcode, meaning that it extends the opcode to have uh, certain functions. So, uh, how do I map this digits? How do I know? Uh, what is the opcode of add or what's the function of add? What's the number of T0 or T1 or T2? Uh, we have the uh, MIPS uh, green card. The MIPS green card contains the, uh, for instance, if we come to the add, here we have the opcode and the uh, function of the add. If we go searching for T0, T1 and T2, we find that T0 is 8. T1 is 9 and uh, T3 is 10. So uh, make sure that you transfer the 20 hexadecimal into a decimal or to avoid the uh, confusion. So taking the first example, here we want to map this numbers to an instruction. So he says that the opcode is 0. The RS is 3, the RT is 2, the RD is 3, shunt is 0, and function is 34. These are all in base 10. So, what's our next step? Okay, opening the MIPS reference data or MIPS clean card. We have here an opcode of 0. So, Opcode of 0 with a function of 34, 34 maps to 22 hexa. So, we have to search for 0 slash 22. And yes, this is the subtract uh, operation. So, that here we know that an, it's an R format. Instruction. And it's a subtract. So, our next step would be checking the RD. The RD is 3. So, getting to the register name and numbers. Here we have 3, 3. 3 is V1. So, we have here register V1. So, uh, RS is our next step. RS is 3 as well. So, and RT is 2, 2 is V0. So, uh, these numbers 
map to subtracting uh, v0 minus v, v1 minus v0 and putting the result back in the destination register v1. So uh, translate this into binary. Uh, I will not go through the uh, this into binary uh, conversion. I assume you have prior knowledge with that. So getting to the uh, next one, the shift logical left. The shift logical left uh, here is um, it says uh, it has T two, uh, S zero, and four. So what what's that? It's really uh, putting in T two. T two is our destination register. Um, S zero shifted four bits. So let's see how could we map this to uh, the the numbers. So. Let's search for shift logical left at first. So shift log left logical. Shift left logical is an R format having a zero of code with zero function. So we can map this to zero of code with zero function. Then uh, the destiny our destination register would be T2. So how could we know the number of T2 getting here? So T0 is 8, T1 is 9, T2 is 10. So our destination register is 10. So the, the remaining one would be the source uh, register. The source register is S0. S0 is 6, 16. And remaining here, RT is 0. The shift amount is 4. So here we mapped the... Um, instruction shift to its uh, op code or uh, to its uh, R format representation. This is also mapped as a binary representation with translating 0 into binary 16 into binary and so forth. Okay.